Hi, I'm Bohnan, and this is training app that I plan to build with you step by step. You probably don't know me, and it's okay. I'm just a person who love good beer and use CSS with Xamarin forms. This is my first video where I will create mockups for that application. Here, I will pay attention only to most important things during creating mockups of your mobile application. Before we begin, I would like to pay your attention at app features. At first, new is Xamarin Forms. And as much as I can, I'll try to make solution without any platform specific code, mean custom renderers. Second, I'm going to use CSS powered by less because I'm sure that styles done with CSS has much better humor readability rather than XAML styles. Third, I will use complex magic gradients as a background and will show you how it's easy to achieve. After that, you're gonna love it, definitely. Next one, in first implementation, I plan to add and use local database. It might be a LightDB or SQLite with synchronization from online database from Azure. I mean, I plan to add pure offline mode. Like the last features, it might be Firebase notifications. According to trends of 2020, DNI mode and something quite unusual like supporting of Surface Duo and Android Wear, maybe. So let's begin. I'm really poor as a UI or UE designer. That's why create such design takes me more than four hours of my real life. Also, without strong inspiration from Dribble, UI of my app probably looks like bullshit. So it's really nice that we have a place from where we could get some inspiration. First of all, before start creating design of any application, you should know and investigate your target users. How old are they? What devices prefer to use? And most important, for UX side, find what is the key of your application for them. What is the primary feature which user will be interested in? For me, all is simple. This app created for my wife owner of Paul Dance Studio in Jersey, named Bagheera Paul Dance Studio. She is a single trainer in that studio and her phone in Samsung Galaxy A7. So most important for me is creating an app that should perfect looks in that phone. But as additional bonus, I will test it in other devices and provide special UI for smaller or larger like tablet screen sizes. Okay. I already know my users. Next step is to define key features of my app. My user want to create new training which should have max attendee count with selectable frequency per day and days in week. She should have possibility to create new attendees who will join the training lesson with first and last names with phone number, amount of payment per month or training, and count of prepaid trainings or their frequency. We'll stop on it later. Also, users should see training schedule and attendees list. See history of trainings for each attendee. Assign attendees to trainings. I'm going to build up starting by a couple of features and release MVP version. After it, I will increase available features and create next pre-releases or releases of my application. Thanks for listening it. Thanks for being with me. Hope you join this video and will subscribe for further implementation details. I promise that it should be interesting for you when I will start implementing it. It's just as intro video where I'd like to show you my plans, plans for next half a year or even more, depending on how much time you could spend together by building this app. And also about the interesting features that we could imagine.
you know, the most important to build MVP version and after that play with it and add different features, making some custom A-B testing where we will compare different solutions from our UI and see different and interesting possibility from God behind. How better to do it from C-sharp code or XAML code as well. The rest of the video will be just my four hours speed up for five or six hundred percents where we'll show you how hard it was going for me for crazy design. Maybe it's not so perfect. I'm open for any ideas about improving that UI or reuse of that application. But all could change during the implementation as well. So it's planning design, but it may change. Thank you for being here. I could just close this video right now or just enjoy it to the end. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye.